Hello, I'm the Impish Scribe. How are you? I'm trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world. Lockdown two this time. We're doing it properly. Well, I'm doing it properly, but I did first time around. Anyhow, today's experiment. Um, it's been a long time coming, but have you heard about this? Yes. Oh, silk scrunchies. They're kind of a big deal. They've been really hyped up on um, countless, like, zines and shears as being like the thing you can do for your long hair to give it that extra TLC, you know, a silk scrunchie or a silk bonnet. Um, the science behind it, um, some people claim it, please excuse that scratching noise. <sighs> um, the science behind it is that the silk of it is um, considerably less tugging on hair than your average hairband. And um, it helps protect your hair, um, not against um, what 2020 is, but it just helps to protect your hair. It helps to enhance the condition. There is less breaking, less pulling, uh, and thus enhances your hair. Now, quite frankly, I'm all in favour of enhancing my hair. Um, so I thought I'd take to the internet and do, um, you know, actually buy one because lockdown in England means that we can't really buy scrunchies in person so £39 for three though that's from one of the leading companies of selling silk scrunchies I'm not going to name them in person but I'm sure if you google silk scrunchies on google you will find what this particular company is I also took to Etsy but um yeah so I thought it'd be a really good idea to make one you don't need me to show you, talk you through the actual process. I mean, I thought I'd go on to YouTube because, you know, YouTube, there's bound to be some kind of tutorial on how to make um, silk scrunchies. But then I fell down a YouTube wormhole, rabbit hole kind of warren of... Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. The, the link's just there. Um, to, it's like this really cool and really cute thing. And first of all, you need like a pattern and then you need to like measure things out and then, oh, subscribe to my channel. Cue ridiculously perky music. You need glue, scissors, a sewing machine, no disrespect, but that's just really not the vibe that I was kind of feeling. You know, it's it's not particularly difficult to do. Making one of these, that is. Oh, come on. you really... Does the internet really need another kind of like quirky cutaway of someone kind of talking you through all the thrills and spills of like sewing a silk scrunchie, huh? No one needs the sped up kind of like cut away, but I will show you like this is the silk and it was kind of like wrapped around the elastic. Oh, oh. And then it was sewn and sewn and sewn and sewn and sewn. And look, there are pins to hold it into place because I don't have a sewing machine. I can even like put my hand into it. It's it's that oversized a silk scrunchie. Oh, yeah. Careful with the pins though. Also, you'll spare the whole kind of like seeing me trying to thread a needle over and over again when the thread came out, right? Yeah, no one needs that. Here's an artisan one I literally made earlier. Look, oh, silk as a whole. Hmm that you kind of like put your hair in. I completed it on, well, that one, as opposed to the one I'm making right now, on October the 11th. And I literally put it to the test for two weeks, which is like a good length of time as any to see how it works. You know, instead of, I had to use a silk scrunchie. Some habits are hard to break, you know. Whenever I had to wash my face. Sorry, double cleanse and do my regime because skincare geekery is real. This around my wrist as opposed to like 
inelastic, you know? Yes. Like every time I had to just have my hair off my face. Like up. <sighs> Exciting, right? But no, I did this for like two weeks. So just use that bad boy every time I had to wash my face, um, wash myself, um, do some cleaning. Okay, cleaning's in cleaning around the flat possibly happens a lot less than the times that I clean myself. I'm not gonna lie. Again. And again. You get the idea, right? I used it all the time. Even when I went to sleep. Surprisingly comfy, it has to be said. For sleeping and for general kind of like... But what about the actual, did it make a difference? Glad you asked. I didn't feel so much of a tug on my hair when I used it for a start. And it was genuinely nice to use. And have on my wrist when I wasn't using it. Oh, and as for my hair, well, I didn't notice my hair growing any faster, but. Latina Hair Gang, where are you? Whoop whoop! Latinx Hair Gang, where are you? Whoop whoop! Having slightly, well, I say slightly, well, not having Anglo Irish hair, it means that. Yeah, my hair's kind of like thicker and the such. It means that when I wash my hair, it's quite the process. A moment for all the half days that we've lost to washing our hair. I noticed less hairballs around the place when I was cleaning up. Usually when you're Latina or Latinx, you just notice kind of like fat little tribbles in the corner. I mean, I saw hair, but a lot less of it. And when I wash my hair, there's usually, like, quite the hairball by the sink and in my hands after I've, like, washed it. But, and I apologise if you're a little bit grossed out, but you will want to skip this bit. Um, I washed my hair twice and this is the size of the hairball that I pulled like of all the hair, like twice. Ah, little hairballs, not that big. That's something. I also asked my hairdresser because if anyone's going to notice the difference in my hair, other than me, it's gonna be him. This was pre-lockdown too, by the by. I went for a trim on lockdown Eve because yes. He said that my density and volume of hair had increased, it was in better condition, so um, yeah. I didn't notice it grow any longer, but I noticed I, you know, I, it felt as though I had more volume. I could go slightly longer between washing my hair. Generally I like having clean hair though, so yeah. But still, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. I wouldn't recommend paying £39 for three hair scrunchies unless you really, really have a jonesying for it. Um, it's not the most difficult thing in the world to make one if you are financially strapped and you have the resources to make. Um, so yeah, would I recommend it? Yes. Is it worth the hype? Kind of. Um, and also you get out of the habit of just having like hair bands, which can't be a bad thing. So yeah, I'd recommend it. Also. You appreciate your time a heck of a lot more after you've spent four evenings in a row sewing one of these bad boys, artisan or not. So yeah, silk scrunchies, they're all that. Give it a go, they work. Oh, like and subscribe, please. It'd be nice. Love you. See you soon with more lolly content.